So today I am recording what a day in a life with a three month old is going to be like. It definitely took some time to get used to taking care of print through all the stages of being a newborn, being one month old, two month old, three months old. There's all these different changes going on. So of course things are gonna start changing. Things just started changing a little bit um, once he turned three months, but we will get right into our day. I wake up a little bit before Prince does every morning so I can get some stuff done. And I think he's about to wake up now. So, and the time that he wakes up every morning is a little bit different. He went to sleep around 1 a.m. last night. His sleep schedule's been kind of um, flip floppy. So he went to sleep around 1 a.m. last night and it is almost, I think, 10 30 a.m so he sleeps really well overnight um but yeah i'm going to go wake him up good morning good morning let's change your diaper fall asleep between like 11 a.m. I mean 11 p.m. and 1 a.m. and then he won't wake up until I think the earliest has been recently like 7 or 8 but today he woke up at 10 30 so we are happy about that and he's been like that since maybe a little after the first month or so yeah he's been like that ever since the first month um, so we've been very lucky and blessed to just talk to him, just get his morning started, get his brain going, and then we will probably move on to books and his kind of play mat area. So I usually like to wipe his face with things like this. Um, this is in Japan, but anything that I guess says it's like a wipe to wipe your kid's face and around their eyes. From the moment that he was born, I downloaded the, I downloaded this app called Baby Tracker, and um, you'll see it right here next to the screen. But um, I love this app because you can track all of your baby's baby's diaper changes, um, when you gave them their milk, and um, how long they've been sleeping or napping. So you can really keep track. And if there's a day that's kind of off, then you can kind of know like what's going on. Um, if there's any abnorm abnormalities, um, it's a really good way for me to be able to keep track of how long it's been since he's ha last had uh, some milk. Right? It helps mommy so much, right? So I love to use it. I don't go a single day without using it. Um, I track all of his whatever I need a track of his, it's there. You getting bored? Are you getting bored? All right, so obviously he's a little bored of just playing with me. So now I'm gonna take him to this play mat right here that we have. Oh, where did the middle, did you take the middle toy off? You definitely ripped it off yesterday. All right, so it is hung back up. I don't even know how he got it off of there, but yeah, this is our fun little play mat. <laughs> and I recently got him this crinkle book and he's been enjoying it. I just kind of hung it up here so that he can play with it because he can't really hold things by himself yet. Sometimes I'm able to just put him on this mat and do some cooking or cleaning. Um, he really doesn't mind uh, the sound of a vacuum which is very very amazing um, so maybe I'll just vacuum around clean his bottles clean the kitchen make some food I can usually get something done peacock peacock what do you hear I hear 
a walrus bellowing in my ear. Yes. Yes. Walrus. Walrus. What do you hear? I hear a zookeeper whistling in my ear. So it's almost noon. We did some playing around. Um, so he's been up for almost an hour and a half. Um, this is usually when he gets a little tired. Uh, he doesn't like out really start crying, but he gets a little angry. What else do you do when you get sleepy? You get tired, you start yawning, you start rubbing your face and your eyes, right? Yeah, and then he wants to be picked up. So, literally the day after he turned three months, um, he started having sleep regression. And when I looked it up, yes, the three months old um, usually have some sleep regression. They go kind of backwards into being fussy. He's really a good sleeper, um, but recently he has a hard time falling asleep. He has a hard time putting himself to sleep. officially sleeping now so now I can make some lunch for the husband and get this laundry uh, finished Hi. <laughs> Hello. did you have a good nap going to do is after I've given him his milk and burped him I'm gonna get his backpack ready and we're gonna go to the grocery store I usually put him in like a baby carrier now instead of the stroller because it's easier to shop around that way and he's big enough to be in there and he actually likes to look around <music> the kitchen just to wash his water bottle out and he couldn't see me for a moment and look at this little crybaby yes here. Hey. hi don't you see him right here huh yeah yes huh yeah yeah, you feel better now. Well, I have my backpack ready right here and his baby carrier. Well, this is his backpack really. And I'm gonna put it in the car before I put him in the car. And I have, it's kind of hot outside. Well, it's actually perfect outside, but I have the windows open so that it's nice and cool in the car. you into this baby carrier which I'm still not very used to yet yes and then the hardest part is getting the straps in the back other people's do I'm not that flexible Where's your arms? There you go. There you go. All right, we are snapped in the back. We are snapped in the front. Off we go. I feel like Prince likes, you like grocery shopping? I feel like he does. I feel like he likes to look around and shop with me. So we're just gonna get a few things and be on our way. So we just got back from the grocery store. And I'm so proud of him. He did not fuss or anything. That's usually how it goes. So let's get back in the house so you can get in your play area. I just have him playing right here while I put some of these groceries away. Sometimes you have moments like this, right Prince? Where he gets very fussy. I was marinating and preparing some dinner just now. So I'm going to keep 
keep peeling this garlic. time or a little bit earlier I will take him on a little walk around the block so it's about six o'clock right now and somehow we got our little fishy baby to get in the stroller and now we're strolling on our walk around the block it literally just got so dark so early he has actually now fallen asleep on our walk so we're gonna head back home let him sleep a little bit Hello. Hi. Hi. You woke yourself up? Did you wake yourself up? Hi, handsome. Hi, handsome baby. Hi. You ready for a bath? Or are you hungry? Both? Yeah. You want to drink first? <laughs> okay. Let's see. surprised me. I didn't, I was getting the bath ready and I didn't hear you pooping, okay? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I just finished making some dinner and I'm taking him over to my grandma, take his great grandma's house, which is right next door. Um, I think it's important for him to spend some time over there with some Japanese going on. It's eight o'clock right now. So gave him a bath, did everything. He played a little bit. minutes between like 8 15 8 45 so since it doesn't really seem like he wants to be going to sleep anytime soon we are going to read yes this Japanese book <laughs> 